In the seven reasons you are consulting slow as a GP video, reason number seven was not using enough IT shortcuts. And I wanna show you a really easy IT shortcut that you can use in your day-to-day -day in best practice called autofills. And if you don't know what autofills are, they are basically magic little words. And if you type these magic words into your clinical system, they will expand into a lot of text and you can program that. And I will show you how to do that. And what I will also do is share with you a collection of my favorite autofills that I use day in, day out. When you load up best practice, you have to bring up a patient. This is is Cherry Ripe, who is a fake patient. And you can see here at the bottom, a little tab that says autofill. And if you click on autofill, there may not be anything here, although it is very likely that some of the other clinicians at your practice have created autofills and they have shared these autofills with the entire organization. As you can see, these little magic words, these little shortcuts often will start with a full stop or a hashtag or a special character so that you don't accidentally press it whilst you're trying to document in your notes. I will give you a good example here. We often see a lot of kids with coughs and colds. And an easy way to document your examination is to use an autofill. Now an autofill that I have created is full stop exam. If I write full stop exam and I press the enter button, as you can see, it has expanded to a lot of text. So this is the template that I generally use for most kids. That is my process in terms of examining children with coughs and colds. What I will do here is I will just adjust the numbers. So if someone's temperature was 37.1, then I will change that. Typically I will alter the pulse rate to whatever it was, like 90 for instance. Often these kids, don't have any work of breathing, the chest is pretty much clear, the ears are okay, and the throat is a little bit inflamed. Now another autofill that I will often use in the context of these kids is full stop safe. There are some guidelines that specify that saying, you know, come back if things aren't better, just aren't good enough. Now you really do have to go into a little more detail in terms of safety netting those kids. And this is really important medical legally. So my spiel is typically, I think this is a viral illness, just make sure that you use paracetamol and ibuprofen. You can space those two hours apart. If at any point fever is more than five days, Days, rashes, vomiting, drowsy, not passing urine, you're worried, make sure to come back or seek medical attention somewhere. And now this is something that I've said so many times that I just remember it. It is just part of what I do when I see a kid with coughs and colds. And what I've done is I've basically created an autofill that has those bits. Now I'm gonna mention something that may seem obvious, but I feel it is really important to point out. You cannot use an autofill and not say those things to the parent. So you can't basically say, you know what, I think this is viral, so just let us know if it doesn't get any better. And then you use the autofill safe and you leave that in the patient notes. I know it's pretty obvious, but medically that isn't sound. <laughs> you basically can't do that. Now, if you wanted to create that autofill that I was talking about, the full stop exam, what you would do is go into autofill and you would add a new autofill. This is where you put in your shortcut. In my instance, I usually do full stop exam, but in this case, I will write full stop exam test. And here I'll just fill in my bits. Inflammation, no, exudate. And at this point, you can decide whether you want to make this available to all of the users at your organization. That really depends on what your relationship is like with your other GPs. By and large, our practice is really cool in the sense that we have a really good relationship, all of us together. So I will often make all of my autofills available to all users. Click save, brilliant, and there it is. Full stop exam test. So if I see a kid next time and I want to just document the examination findings, I use the autofill. I'm going to show you now a few autofills that I find really, really useful. Some of them I have created myself. Some of them have been created by other people at the practice. And I find that autofills are most, most useful when you are doing something that is super repetitive. So for instance, when we have to check immunizations for kids, I have my own autofill. I have called it IMS Mike, and I have used something called carrots. As you can see, there are these little triangles that are next to the came with triangle presenting for triangle. And these are things that you can incorporate in your own autofills. And the way to do that is you would press shift and six and that creates what's called a carrot. Why this is useful. So rather than having to use your mouse like I did in that previous example and I clicked on the temperature and I changed it from 36.6 to 37.1, you can press shift F5 and it will take you straight to the carrot. So at this point, I will write come with mom. If I press shift F5 one more time, it will take me to the next carrot presenting for immunization. And I'll just write here kind of 18 months or whatever I'm writing here. And I find using carrots can be actually quite useful. And the reason why I created my own one is because we have had one that was called uh, Full Stop IMS, and I just felt I wanted to change it a little bit and added my own things. So I wasn't really SMSing people, so I thought that wasn't relevant to my own autofill, so I removed that one. Now, another one that I will use a lot is the Full Stop COVID one that I created, where we are doing vaccine eligibility checks. Again, this is probably something that will disappear at some point, but there's a special item number that you can add onto your consultation for doing an eligibility check. So I use Full Stop COVID quite a lot. Now, there are a few ways to go about autofills, and I have noticed that there are some clinicians who 
will create an autofill that will basically fill in the whole consultation for you. I kind of experimented with this and I created an autofill that is full stop mental. So I'm seeing a lot of mental health patients because it's something I'm kind of interested in. And I created an autofill that kind of goes through the main bits that I want to make sure that I have down with every mental health consultation. I want to know their home setup, work, their support network, sleep and lifestyle. So I ask about exercise, diet and that kind of thing. I always ask about abuse, their relationship with food. And I also ask if there have been any suggestions that they have ADHD or autism. And I'll also do the red flags. So I'll ask if they're suicidal, self-harming or psychotic. And I started using this autofill with a lot of patients. And then what I realized is that it was kind of disrupting the flow of the story, if you know what I mean. I realized that I was really regimented in my history taking rather than just letting the history flow like I would normally do with a mental health consultation where patients say something and you just pull on the thread and you ask them to expand on that. And with the story, they will fill in those bits if you just let them talk. And so I've actually stopped using this autofill because I feel that I don't really want that super rigid structure. What I will probably do is have the autofill just have these last bits where I'm asking about abuse, relationship with food or ADHD or autism and the red flags because that's really important and sometimes you can forget and embarrassingly there are times that I have definitely forgotten and if for whatever reason you end up being the medical student that I'm supervising, I will definitely tell you the story of how I missed a blatantly psychotic patient by not asking them if they were psychotic. The thing that I will probably mention here that will really change your life is get into the mindset of creating your own autofills. And that is sometimes the hardest bit to do because how to make an autofill, well, it's super easy. I just showed you. It literally took me 15 seconds to create an autofill. But the thing that will stop you from creating autofills is not having the autofill mindset. What I mean by that is that if you do your next surgery and you realize that you have actually written the same thing three times in a row, create an autofill. Just take five minutes, create your first autofill, and you will thank yourself for taking that extra time out. Now, another autofill that I've created, which was very big, and I actually did need this autofill because there are so many things you need to ask, which are not obvious when you are prescribing medicinal cannabis. And it is called Full Stop Cannabis. And if you want this, just leave a comment below and I can send it over to you. But basically, you do need to make sure that you are asking about the presenting symptoms, the relevant bits from the past medical history, at-risk behaviors, conception plans. Again, those are all things that are really, really easy to forget. So I find that this autofill actually really helped me. Uh, the thing that I felt was really, really important here is to have those treatment goals for the medicinal cannabis use. I have created a video that is a bit of a guide on how to prescribe medicinal cannabis. Uh, so I will leave a link in the description below for you if that is something you're interested in. Another one that I will often use is full stop skin. So when we do skin checks, I want to assess their melanoma risk. So that's a bit of a reminder for myself. There needs to be a lesion of concern. So if you do get into skin medicine, you will understand that skin checks actually through Medicare are not meant to be a screening service. They're meant to be a service that you provide if patients have a lesion of concern. So if patients come in and they just say, listen, I want a skin check, I have no lesions of concern, then you have to either suss out whether there definitely isn't a lesion of concern and then write down which one that was. But if you are 100% sure and they are 100% sure there's no lesion of concern, well, you can actually bill Medicare for that skin check. A lot of the skin clinics, sometimes we see letters from the skin clinic and the autofill is absolutely massive. They use loads of carrots so that they can easily skip through. Again, you can decide whether you want to do that or not. Those are my personal autofills. Those are the ones that I use a lot in GP. Now there are a few autofills that I personally don't use, but I think are super, super important if you do these kind of things. So for some reason, I don't have too many baby checks, but there is an autofill that someone has created who does baby checks at our practice. And it's also a little bit of a reminder for you in terms of what you need to do. Finally, the last autofill that I'm gonna share with you is full stop IUD. So I guess this is also really important for people who do IUDs just to streamline that process a little bit. Now, are there any autofills that you use yourself and that you find are really, really useful? And if there are, just feel free to leave a comment below. And let's also build up a little bit of a database here that people can rely on if they are looking for autofills. Right, that's it, good luck. So I hope that was useful.